Oppenheimer's Secret. How the U.S. Stole the Atomic Bomb from the Nazis. New Mexico, 1945. The countdown hits zero. A flash brighter than the sun. The ground shakes. A mushroom cloud swallows the sky. You've just witnessed Trinity, the first atomic blast. But this isn't a victory. It's Pandora's box. And the U.S. just pried it open. In 1942, with Nazis racing to split the atom, America launched the Manhattan Project, a $2 billion gamble to build the bomb first. Einstein warned FDR. Oppenheimer led the team. Cities rose in secret, and 130,000 people worked blind, not knowing they were crafting Armageddon. Oak Ridge enriched uranium in football fields of machinery. Hanford bred plutonium in reactors hotter than hell. Los Alamos? A brain trust of geniuses, some haunted by guilt. Could they beat Hitler? Yes. Could they control what came next? No. July 16, 1945. The Trinity test melts desert sand into glass. Oppenheimer whispers Hindu scripture, now I am become death. Three weeks later, Hiroshima and Nagasaki vanish. 200,000 dead. Japan surrenders. The world cheers, then shudders. The bomb ended World War II and birthed the Cold War. Nuclear stockpiles, Cuban missiles, fallout shelters. Scientists who once raced Nazis now begged for disarmament. Oppenheimer's warning echoed, we knew the world would not be the same, and it wasn't. You stood in the desert. You solved the equation. You pressed the button. But could you live with it? The Manhattan Project didn't just split atoms, it split humanity from its conscience. And we're still picking up the pieces. If this story left you breathless, share it. Some truths detonate long after the blast. Subscribe for more moments where science changed history and history changed us. Because of the next atomic secret, it's still being written.